Hi. Welcome to a video, and uh, today um, I'm actually going to give out a reaction slash review. Um, well, it's wild. Um, well, as you may know, um, I'm actually going to do a reaction slash review on, um, on these videos. I haven't seen Usher I Cry yet. I'm going to, and I'll give my reaction. Um, I'm going to give you my reaction, uh, to the Tiger song and the Lil Peep songs. So, let's get into it. Let's, let's hop into these songs. Let's get into the mindset of music, so... Um, well, I listened to Lil Peep first, not Tiger, shockingly, so let's go into what I thought about the Peep songs, so, Peep was fine, um, he's been a, a dead man for two years, going on three, almost, almost three years, and, well, Here's, here's what I think about Lil Jeep and 19, okay? Just bear with me. So, my my reaction and review on these songs, okay? So, Lil Jeep, let's start with Lil Jeep. Lil Jeep was awesome, okay? I'm not gonna put down Lil Jeep. Lil Jeep was just amazing. Um, I love the visuals. Um, I've been talking about visuals on the channel recently. And, um, this is what I think about his visuals, okay? So, you know, one of the lyrics is talking about, uh, being a ghost girl, right? Um... They used concert videos, okay? They used footage of concerts. Because that's all I can use now. It was like, um... I was talking to my dad. I was like... Dad, pretty soon... They're gonna run out of footage for Peep. And they'll either do these two things. One... They'll use pictures... And make it into... Official video. Or they'll do this. They'll either do that or they'll use people's footage. So what I mean by that is people would often record peep at concerts. Right? So what they might have to ask from little peeps fans including myself, because I'm a, I'm a fan of Pete as well, is that any footage that they ever recorded at Peep's concerts probably won't ask me that, because I never went to a Peep concert, sadly and unfortunately. But, I think that's what they'll start using, is those two things. Is those two... things for his videos. Um, I like the visuals in Lil Jeep because there was a visual of a window and it was blacked out. Obviously it wasn't a real window. It was a green screen window, okay? It had it blacked out and there was a girl running through a field. So there was that. There was candles, which was amazing. And also there was outlines of Peep. Like colorful outlines. So like they blacked him out. Like let's say he was on stage. They blacked him out and they put colorful like like outline around him. So it was like, like that, you know? You know what I'm trying to say. Um, if that made sense. If 
at all to any ind individual watching this video, peep, supporter, or otherwise. Um, so that was that. That was awesome. And they use, you know, stage videos, like, from, like, backstage, and, and then they go on stage, and that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool stuff. Cool footage. Um, and then, let's talk about 19. Okay. So, 19 was awesome. Um, from last night, from what I remember, I don't really remember any visuals, okay, I didn't remember really any visuals, um, but the song was dope, it really was, always has been, ever since I first listened to it, um, but you know, I'm waiting for these mixtapes, man, I'm waiting for California Girls, I'm waiting for Crying Diamonds, I'm waiting for Come Over When You're Sober Part 3, if there is one, I'm waiting for these, you know? And to know that Bo Peep is living on, even though he's been dead for two years, which is awesome. Like, all this footage, like, I've never seen it. Like, okay, well, let's put it this way. Like, when they did certain ones, okay, it was from certain videos, but it wasn't that angle, and done that way, you see what I'm saying, like, some of the footage was, obviously, like, on a different one, but it was a different angle, that's what I'm trying to say, on a different video, but on a different angle, you see what I'm saying, um, but, I will never forget this comment, I read a comment on YouTube that said, Sadly, they are slowly running out of footage of him. And that's true. They are running out of footage of him. Because, um, knowing Lil Peep, he didn't live that long. He lived to be 21 years old. He, he didn't live a long life. Now, granted, he got a lot done. He hustled during the 21 years. Absolutely. But he didn't get a lot done in the sense of making more footage of himself and more songs so the songs that you hear of him that's it now some they got in the vault of course but we always mention the vault we go oh yeah well like if there's a dead artist oh yeah well they're in the vault well let me tell you guys the vault is it's filled with all these songs and they're going to be for such an ever such a long time because they're eking it out. It's like eating a big cake. You eat it out each day. You don't eat it all in one day, do you? You eat some of it today, some of it tomorrow. And that's with Peep songs, Juice World songs, XXX Tentacion songs. Hella sketchy songs, uh, and other people that I like, and other people that are dead now, their songs, I'll add one more in, um, oh, I can't remember her name, but she's an Asian girl, anyway, um, Hannah, yeah, Hannah, that's it, Hannah something, um, anyway, um, but that's the thing. The vault is going to empty itself out soon. Like, we know that. Hopefully in a couple years' time, because, yeah, that's just how it is. But, anyway, so there's that. Um, and you could tell that Peep uh, gave it his all at concerts because he, like, all these rappers, and I'm not putting down any rappers, okay? Like, Migos, Tyga, 
post Malone. Anybody that uses autotune, okay, I'm not putting them down, okay? I think autotune's great. It makes the sound sound so good, right? It makes the song sound so good. I'm not putting it down. But Peep, he didn't need autotune, okay? He used his natural, born with voice to sing the songs that he wrote and worked, worked hard to make. And he gave it his all on stage, which was cool. And he actually showed it on the footage, which was so amazing. So amazing to see. It's so cool that someone put that much time, even though no longer living anymore. Addition to that, you know, they, they didn't care who was around or who was recording or filming him or who was taking pictures of him. He sang the crap out of the songs whether someone was looking or not and that's just that's just awesome to me man like that's awesome that's really cool okay let's talk about Tiger okay so Tiger I think he did a sneaky okay and what do I mean by sneaky well he was giving a list of these oh, buddy books he was giving out a list of these names, like Cancun, the Bahamas, Ibiza, some tropical island, and whatever, obviously, in the name, that one was Ibiza, but also, whichever one that won would be in his video. Now, I think what he did, he did a quick recording so after he did it that way right after they gave the vote out for what it should be called he did a little quick recording and editing for a video and said Ibiza since Ibiza won or Ibiza as he says Ibiza even though it's it starts with an I. I know it sounds weird, but... Um, the video. The video was dope. Still using visuals. Um, still the same Tiger for the most part. Um, but something different I have to add for Tiger. Um, well, honestly, let's get into it. So, obviously back in the day, Tiger was a hardcore, aggressive rapper, right? He used to do aggressive rap. I'm not gonna lie, like, some of his lyrics were pretty, pretty deep and pretty harsh, okay? Um, not all, not all of them, okay? Because they, they did have sentimental and meaning, and they all do. All of his songs have meaning. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that the intention, the tend of the video was aggression and sometimes even violence, okay? But now, since Tiger's older, and he's worth five million, I'm not sure how much Will Peep is worth. I think he's. I think it said he's worth six hundred k. But that's because he didn't live that long and he died early. Um, he would have been worth a lot more now. He'd be at least worth like a million now, if not more. But he sings so well when he was so young. Um, but anyway, back to Tiger. So Tiger, um, he used like, I don't know, like a V colorful line visual. I don't know what to call it. Like, it's a V shape and it's in like a green color and like different colors. And it's in like the middle of the screen. And then it went to like him. With all these chicks. And you know what I also noticed? He hasn't had many girls like twerking lately. Because usually in the songs that he does. He has. 
let's just call them pogs, okay? He had a pog just bouncing her booty on the ground, like, constantly, all the time. Like, he always had one on his videos, all the time, just shaking her ass, pretty much. Can't simplify it more than that. That's pretty much what was happening on the videos. He was just using girls and they were twerking. Either on him or just twerking as is on the ground. Probably leave a crack in the ground because they dick. <laughs> T H I C C Tiger. Thick Tiger. <laughs> Thick. Uh, Thick Tiger videos. <laughs> but anyway. Back to what I was saying. Visuals were great. Um, he really used some some good lyrics in there. Like, one lyric was, I drink too many tequilas and I pass out or something like that. That's pretty fire. Like, anybody would be like, oh. I was like that when I heard it. I was like, oh. I don't know if anyone else got that reaction when they heard Ibiza, but. But yeah fire and the chains and um i saw that ae returned i haven't seen ae his best friend um alexander edwards i haven't seen him be in a tiger video for a while now um it's been a while the last time i saw him in a tiger video was a uh, floss in the bank pretty dope video it was egypt based and also used inspiration of the mummy with Brendan Fraser and stuff because they used a mummy opening mouth effect. And that's what Tiger used in Floss in the Bank. But anyway, um, go check that video out if you haven't seen it. It's been out for a year, almost two years now. So go check it out. Anyway. So. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Um, and, um, another one that was fire is, one lyric was, we smoke all night, we smoke once all night or something like that, that was pretty fire, um, I keep seeing him have red vehicles, like in his music videos, so like, um, whether it be a red Ferrari or a red Lamborghini or whatever. He just, I think he loves red. Not that I think he's, you know, potentially a a blood or anything, but I don't think Ty is in a gang anyway. That's just not him. He's not like Blueface and has blue everything because he wants to announce himself as a Crip. But I don't know. I think that's just one of his favorite colors. It's just red. And red looks good, you know. And plus, um, did you know this? This might be a new information to you guys. But did you know red is the most wanted color for cars for cops? Now, what do I mean by that? Well, when you're driving down the road in a sporty, fast red car, cops tend to come after you more than if you're in a green, sporty car. Or in a blue sporty car or a gray sporty car or a black sporty car they tend to go after people that are in red ones for some weird reason they're like ooh well red's hot and heavy and fuzzy let's go after him or her or whoever's driving it some IG supermodel or some rapper probably Especially if they own a Ferrari or something. Go horses. I'm just playing. Anyway, um, but, yeah. So, yeah, go horsepower. We fight for you. I'm just playing. Anyway, um, but yeah, so, cool. Um, I'm not sure if that's one of his, like, vacation homes that he was recording in. And another question I was asking my dad, I was like, there was a lot of people on Tiger's music video. 
was this before COVID? You know, my mom says anyway. Was this before COVID or was this during COVID and they just got checked out before the music video? So, like, they would have a line of, like, people that were planning to act for this video. The Ab Ibiza video. And, like, someone with a mask would be like, okay, you're clear for, for COVID. You don't have any COVID. You could be in the video. Next. And they kept doing that. Did they do, like, a line system where they checked everybody before the music video? Or did they just you know, like, record it beforehand, before COVID, probably before COVID, I would say, but who really knows, especially, like, especially if there's, like, no behind the scenes in, like, the video, or no one shows evidence of, like, what happened before that music video was recorded, especially if it's Tiger or somebody, because I don't really see behind the scenes of Tiger that much, like, there was one of You Cry, I saw that, it was like right on Riv or something like that. I think that's what the um, the company was called that did like a behind the scenes. And um, it was him in a Bugatti and them sending up the piano. They had like a bunch of hired guys to move this piano for him. Because not being mean about Tiger, I know he works out, but he don't have like muscle muscle like these dudes do. And plus they're way much taller and stuff than him. No offense to him, but... And plus, I'm surprised Tiger doesn't have bigger muscles because, good God, he works out, you know, he lifts weights, and he boxes. So, I don't know. And he uses a punching bag um, often, and he shoots hoops, so he's a pretty active guy, you know. He's not on set, that's for sure. He's got abs and stuff. That's probably why my friend Hannah likes him so much. <laughs> yeah, I was talking to her the other day. And I was like, what do you think about Tiger? He, she said, oh my god, he's a god. He's hot, he's sexy, he sings well. And I was like, okay, Hannah, steady. <laughs> nice play. I was like, okay then. Um, I said, I wouldn't get that far, but he is good. Yeah, he's cool. He's dope. He's got dope tracks. But anyway, um, anyway, so, yeah. But yeah, back to the Alexander Edwards, you know, A for short. Um, I don't know why he hasn't been in the Tiger videos that much, but, uh, I think he hasn't been in them because they're just, you know, maybe better off without him. I'm not being mean, but not every Tiger video needs his best friend in it. You know, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not being mean about AE. I think he's a great artist, but it doesn't need AE all the time. You know, you know what I mean? He's like a once in a while type of dude. Like, last time I saw him, honestly, was Floss in the Bank. And that's the last time I've heard of AE. But he's in Ibiza video. Which I thought was pretty interesting since I haven't seen him for a while on a Tiger music video. Official video. Or audio, as the case may be. I'm surprised he wasn't on Legendary. You know? Uh, he was on, um, oh, Bugatti Raw, but he. That's the last time he was on an actual album of Tigers. And he was on that single, Floss in the Bank, official video, but... And now, Ibiza. And then, years ago ones, he was on. But, you don't really hear much of him. And then, him with the, the Amber Rose situation. Uh, I'm not sure if he's still with Amber Rose. He probably is. I think they got a kid together, and they're just living their lives, I think as an actual, like, family family. A.E. having a family. Technically, Tiger does, but it's not as committed. But that's just my opinion alone. And if it is your opinion, you're probably not voicing it on the internet like I am. So, but anyway, guys, um, and they were by the poolside, so, you know, it was a, a vibe, you know. A summer vibe um, but what I wanted to really say on this video was the majority of the Tiger videos now are chill cool hip-hop songs 
Now, some of them won't reach the club. That is a given, because they're too chill. Ibiza didn't really have a heart of a beat as Vacation did. This one's more, like, slow. And I loved, at the beginning of the, the music video, the girl playing the saxophone. That was awesome. Like, there was this pong chick, and she was, you know, um, doing the saxophone in front of the pool, which was fire. So that was a good touch. Um, if Tonga does more of that, I'll watch it. Like, a girl playing an instrument, and then it goes to him, you know, rapping or hip-hopping. <laughs> I, I, I think that'd be dope. But anyway, guys, that's going to be about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Creep out. Goodbye, Creeper fans. Oh, that was a hummingbird. Goodbye, Creeper fans. Creep it out.